Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's concert. Before we begin, I'd ask that you silence your handphones. Thank you. And also join me as I open with a word of prayer. Lord, thank you for tonight, and thank you for these students and all of their very hard work. Uh, Lord, I pray for any nerves and any anxious um, students, that you'll just calm them and help them do their very best and um, make music that's honoring and glorifying to you. We commit tonight to you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, the first piece the sixth graders have for you tonight is Flying High. graders. It's actually not 100% true. There are some 7th graders in this group as well who just came to DeLotte this year. So I believe 12 of these students on stage in January had never played the instrument that they are playing right now. And now they are doing their very first concert. They're doing a great job. The next piece, Mountain Hoedown, is technically not a very difficult piece, but I've been challenging these students by introducing them to more complex um, musical terms like cut time, where I only conduct two beats in every measure, but they still play four beats. So it can be kind of tricky, but it helps us be able to play a piece faster. So this is Mountain Hoedown. In, 
beginning band repertoire. It's hard to find pieces that work well for a march concert. Either they are too high for the brass or they're really too simple. It's hard to find the in-between part. And so, inspired by the lack of repertoire, I decided to write a piece myself. And I told the students I was inspired by the name because of how sixth graders normally are in class. They ask a lot of questions. And oftentimes, it's the same question over and over and over again. But there are other students interrupting while they're still trying to ask the same question. So this is question. And if you come back for the Fine Arts Festival, you will have answer. <laughs> Enchanted Village is a particularly tricky piece because we have to change tempos or change speeds halfway through and they have to watch me, which is somewhat tricky for them because they're still very dependent on their music and to be brave enough to trust themselves that they know their music and to look is a bit tricky, but they've been doing a great job and I hope um, you enjoy Enchanted Village. <laughs> 